Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars figure review. Today we're going to take a look at a product that is, in many ways, one of Hasbro's best ones for quite some time. Um, just when, you know, Hasbro get right under your skin and annoy you with figures such as the Black Series Yoda, they go and suck you right back in with products such as this. And let me tell you, this is a fantastic piece. As FlyGuy.net said in his review of this product, um, this is hands down a contender for Toy of the Year. Um, Everything about this set is absolutely fantastic. The packaging looks awesome, uh, the vehicle looks awesome, and the 6-inch figure that's included with it is phenomenal as well. Uh, as I said, it does come from the Black Series 6-inch line, and it is one of the first deluxe figures to be released in the 6-inch scale. Enough talk, let's take a look at it. It is, of course, you guessed it, the 6-inch speeder bike with Biker Scout. This is, as I said, an absolutely extraordinary piece, and if you don't own one of these already, what are you waiting for? Pick this one up, because it's definitely one of the must-have pieces from the 6-inch line so far. Um, a lot of the figures that have been released have been really, really good, but this one just tops them all. Um, as I said, the figure that's included is amazing, and the vehicle is a stunning, stunning collectible as well. So by all means, if you haven't got one of these, uh, be sure to check out the video description for a link to my most trusted supplier, staractionfigures.co.uk, where you can pick this one up right now for just $39.99, which when you think about it is a cracking deal because you would pay around $19.99 for the figure alone. So for the extra £20, then you get an absolutely amazing vehicle and a display stand as well. So we'll talk about all that in just a little bit, but as I said, fantastic price for this product. And uh, again, if you don't own one of these, then you must be barking mad. Um, as I said, we'll talk about the product in a little bit more detail in just a little bit. But first, we are going to take a look at the packaging that it comes in. Now, this is one of the first products to feature the new look for the Black Series line. As you can see at the back of the box there, we do have those uh, sort of Death Star lights that on previous Black Series products were orange. Whereas on this one, they are, of course, blue. Now this is of course going to be a running change throughout the Black Series line and we're going to be seeing this throughout the 6 inch and the 3 and 3 quarter inch figures. So I'll be sure to show you some of those very very soon. Um, as I said the packaging is phenomenal on this one. Um, once again it really invokes that adult collector feel. You know you feel like you're getting a high end product with this box. Um, it's a very nice presentation. The only thing that really lets it down in my opinion is the fact that it looks a little bit empty when the product is placed inside um, and that could have been changed with the addition of a scene or diorama in the background there. Um, if you've seen the upcoming uh, Shadow Speed Bike with the Bike Scout and Shadow Stormtrooper then you'll know that that box has a scene of the Death Star hangar in the background and it really fills it out, it makes it uh, look like you're getting more for your money if, if you will. Um, but it just looks 10 times better and if you're going to display this thing mint in box um, then I think a scene or you know an indoor forest background or something like that in the backdrop there would have really benefited this packaging but it looks nice as it is it's just a little bit you know a little bit plain um, but never, never mind as you can see we do have the stylized image of the scout trooper in the top corner which continues the theme of the black series and we of course have that black series logo down in the bottom in gloss which looks really really nice. On the back of the box we do indeed have an image from the movie which has been uh, distorted and stylized to fit the theme and we also have a character description on the back as well. Once again you've got those blue highlights down the packaging there as well and the Black Series logo once again. So a very very cool box for this item. Now, let's take a look at what we get inside it. As I said, stunning, stunning piece. You know, words can't really summarise how awesome this set is because the figure is just mind-blowingly cool and the speed bike itself looks absolutely stunning. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a, a quick overview of the Biker Scout while he's seated on the speed bike, just give you a feel for what you're going to be buying here. And then uh, we'll break the review down into two parts and we'll look at the, the figure and the speeder bike as well. So there you go, there's a, a general overview of how this one looks. Of course later on in the video we'll take some uh, HD close-ups on this and get a look at all that stunning, stunning detail. 
So this is of course based on the speed bike and scout troopers that we see in episode 6, Return of the Jedi. And I think Hasbro have really created a as true to life as they can uh, representation of the prop. And of course the outfit seen in the film. Uh, they've done a stunning job with this one and really created um, an ultimate collectible really. Um, this almost doesn't feel like a toy, it's, it's just that good. So I hope you're getting a, a good look at the speed bike. So now let's jump in to the review of each individual item. So of course we'll take a look at the scout trooper or the biker scout first. So I hope you can join me in a, a nice HD zoom on this one. I will remove him from the speeder bike in just a second, but I thought I'd give you a, a quick close-up of this figure as he's seated on the bike. As you can see, first and foremost, all of the uh, added articulation of the 6-inch figures really helps this one. It allows him to sit on the bike as he would in the film, and it looks really, really good. Uh, you know, he's not sat too awkwardly, or his legs aren't too ajar, or anything like that. It looks really, really nice and sturdy. As you can see, he does hold the uh, handlebars of the speeder bike very well as well. And he just looks absolutely awesome on that speeder bike. Really, really cool item indeed. Um, this thing is quite light on features and accessories. There's not a great deal included with it. And we'll talk about that in just a second. But once again, that really does um, emphasise the collectible feel of this one. Once again, it doesn't feel too much like a toy. Um, so, you know, it's it's a really good product, really top quality product from Hasbro. Really got to applaud them on that. So, I hope that's given you a good enough look at the Bike Scout on the speeder. So now let's take a look at the figure in a little bit more detail. As I said, this guy is just absolutely fantastic. And in my opinion, he definitely rivals the uh, Wave 1 Sand Trooper from the 6-inch line as being one of the best troopers that Hasbro have produced in the 6-inch scale. As you can see, that helmet looks absolutely stunning. Um, one of the flaws that I did find with this one is the fact that the visor is made of a very soft and rubbery plastic. And when it's packaged, obviously because he's packed in that plastic tray, the visor can become prone to warping. Now this is easily fixed, it's not a major issue, um, if you remove the head and pop it in some boiling water uh, the visor will indeed straighten itself out and as you can see that's what I've done here with this figure and it looks 10 times better, so not a massive flaw but it would have been nice if we didn't have to do some of the work ourselves uh, but as you can see it does look very very cool indeed. What I really like about the 6 inch figures is that you get much more emphasis on detail and that's really evident in this figure because not only have we got all that extra detail around the visor and in the mouthpiece but you've got vents on the side of the helmet, you've got decals you've got all sorts going on with this one and it just looks really really cool in my opinion as I said definitely one of the best troopers that Hasbro will probably ever produce in the 6 inch scale uh, the helmet isn't removable of course and that's something that I really like actually I think removable helmets uh, in this line would indeed ruin the figures um, but it is nice to see that they've uh, sculpted the hel the helmets, sorry, in uh, in a larger not a larger scale, but they've done them a little bit bigger than you know the three and three quarter inch helmets look. Um, some of them, you know, you'd, you'd struggle to really fit a head inside some of those helmets, but these ones look like they might just have a head underneath, which is really really cool, and uh, will of course benefit the uh, removable helmet troopers that we see in the future. As you can see the armour is really nicely sculpted as well, you've got all those ammo pouches and harnesses on the, uh, the torso and on the belt. You've got the armour plating all the way around the figure which just looks absolutely fantastic as well. That backpack nicely sculpted there. And then as we come down towards the legs of the figure we have the knee plates and of course the boots. Now the boots are very nicely weathered which is great to see. Uh, we really wouldn't have got the uh, speed bike uh, or the bike scout sorry feel from this figure if those boots were shiny and clean so it's nice to see a little bit of mud and a little bit of dirt and grime on those boots and on the knee plates as well as you can see on the side of the boot we do have the uh, scout trooper blaster pistol inserted in the holster and that can be removed 
and of course placed inside the hand of the scout trooper. As I said at the beginning of the review, this figure will be getting the repaint treatment um, in a exclusive set later on in the year. Uh, not sure whether it's due for release at the end of 2014 or whether it'll be hitting shelves in uh, early 2015. Uh, but this guy will be receiving the shadow treatment, which is uh, absolutely awesome and always a plus when Hasbro do that. Um, some may say, you know, it's just an exploit really to repaint something in black. But I've always been a fan of Shadow Troopers and I can't wait to see a 6 inch Shadow Biker Scout. Um, as I said the sculpt on this guy is fantastic so as you see he really does look like he just jumped off screen and out of the film and into your shelves. Really, really cool looking figure. Um, in terms of articulation he does come with all the expected posability that we've come to see in the 6 inch line so far. He does have a ball jointed and a hinged neck, which obviously allows you to pose him really nicely when he's on the speeder bike. Gets you to uh, make him look up and down and side to side, all that sort of stuff, which is very, very cool indeed. As you can see, he does have hinged shoulders and elbows as well, uh, hinged wrists, ball jointed torso. Now, the posability on the torso is hindered ever so slightly by these pouches. Um, at the front, but that's not a major issue. You know, he doesn't really need to move that much around the, the chest plate, so that's not too bad. As you can see, there's some nice weathering on that armour as well in the grooves there on the breastplate. Uh, he does have ball hinged hips, which of course enable him to ride the speeder bike. He has swivel thighs, uh, double joints in the knee. And of course that ankle pivot which uh, allows him to place his feet really nicely on the uh, on the speed bike pedals. So really, really awesome articulation on this one. And as I said, you can get him in some great poses on and off the speed bike. This is one of my favourites where he's holding the, uh, the blaster up and he's uh, getting ready to fire at some rebels. Or some Ewoks if you'd prefer. So a really awesome figure and you know it's probably inevitable that Hasbro will see the uh, potential in this one as a single carded figure and uh, to be honest I wouldn't mind seeing that you know. I'm not planning to army build the 6 inch figures but uh, seeing this one in a basic black series package would you know wouldn't be a bad thing in my eyes. So uh, expect a re-release of this one probably somewhere down the line but a great figure and definitely one that you should pick up. So really, really impressed with him. As I said, he does look great on and off the speeder bike. And the speeder bike itself looks great with him on or off it as well. So uh, that's going to do it for the Biker Scout. So now let's take a look at the speeder bike itself. As I said, the 6 inch line really does allow for so much more added detail. And that is really evident on this speeder bike. Um, all the engine detail is there. The nuts and bolts on the handlebars, you know... Just everything about this thing is really, really cool. And like with the Biker Scout, it looks like it just jumped off the screen. It's really, really well made, really well designed, and just a stunning looking piece. As you can see, Hasbro have indeed weathered this one, which is always a plus in my book. I love seeing weathering on my uh, Star Wars toys. It really adds a bit of realism and depth to them. As you can see, that's apparent there in that um, sort of silver wash around the engine and on the saddle. Um, I do think it looks a little bit better on the engine than it does on the, uh, the coating or the plating of the speed bike itself. Those do look a little bit too much like they've been applied with a paintbrush but uh, it's not something I'm going to uh, raise an issue with too much. As I said it's not heavy on features so you of course you don't have the, the feature that we've seen in multiple uh, three and three quarter inch speed bikes where we press the ammo pouch at the back and the whole thing explodes and again that's not something that I really miss as this is more of a display piece than a toy. Um, there's no posability or features with this one really, the only thing that moves on it is the cannon on the bottom which as you can see does indeed rotate side to side 360 degrees and we also have the speed flaps at the back which of course can be lifted um, for when the Biker Scout is piloting this thing around. In terms of sculpt and detail, as I said, um, this is unrivaled really. Uh, you've got some great weathering and sculpted detail on that pouch or bag at the back of the speeder bike. 
as I said, all the engine detail is there, which looks absolutely incredible. Even got wires and tubing and pipes and all that sort of stuff on the pedals, which looks fantastic. And of course, there is some pegs on there for the Biker Scout's feet to clip into. Again, great detail on the handlebars, on the seat and front part of the speeder bike as well. Even down to the front and those flaps there. Really, really nicely designed piece. As I said, one of the main features that this one does have is the fact that it is included with a clear display stand. Now, this is a necessity in my opinion. Um, if Hasbro hadn't included this, I would have been a little bit more disappointed with this product. Um, the display stand is just a clear piece of plastic. It's on a ball and socket joint, which just clips into the bottom of the speeder bike there, as you can see. Um, but it does allow you to pose this in some dynamic ways, so you can recreate the speeder bike chase from the film. Um, and as you can see, there are uh, a couple of balls there just to support it when it's been displayed. So really, really nice um, that that was included, and it does look very, very cool on your shelf. So I think that's just about covered everything with this speeder bike. As I said, it's not particularly feature heavy, you know, there's no gimmicks or firing missiles or anything with this one. It's just a really nice old school collectible, and it just looks fantastic. Um, the one feature, I guess you could say it has, is the fact that the front part does um, come off, um, but it clips back in nicely, and I suppose that's just done for storage purposes more than anything else. But once again, as you can see, you've got some of that engine detail, um, which becomes apparent when you remove that part of the, the speeder bike. So really, really nice in terms of sculpting and detail. don't know how well you can see that. I'm just going to brighten up the screen a little bit for you. There we go. But, you know, as I said, the detail and the sculpting work that's gone into this one is absolutely unrivaled. You know, I've, I've failed to see a, a product that Hasbro have released in recent years that's been as good as this one in terms of uh, realism and accuracy to the film. It's an absolutely like, stunning, stunning piece. And as I said at the beginning of the review, if you don't already own one of these, you must be barking mad because this thing is a must-have for Star Wars fans. And uh, as I said, if you check out the uh, the link in the video description... You can head over to staractionfigures.co.uk and you can pick one of these up for yourself for the amazing price of just $39.99, which in my opinion, it, you know, on face value, it sounds a little bit steep because, you know, nobody wants to pay £40 or $40 for a, for a figure or a vehicle. But when you consider the fact that we're paying £20 or $20 already for a six inch figure, um, an extra 20 for a, a really cool and stunning vehicle such as this one really isn't much of a, an issue. So... Uh, I've got no objection to the price and I think it's a really good uh, value for money product. So as I said, really not enough good or you know, too many good things to say about this one in, in this instance. A really, really awesome piece and uh, I really hope that you've enjoyed taking a look at it. Uh, one thing I will just quickly mention and this is something that quite a few people have raised to my attention and I'm really thankful to them for doing so is the fact that if you have the Black Series 6 inch Stormtrooper figure and you've played the video game Star Wars Battlefront then uh, you may be familiar with a weapon such as this one. Now I did show you this in my Stormtrooper review uh, but this is of course a sort of sniper rifle if you will and as I said if you've played Star Wars Battlefront then you'll be familiar with the Imperial Snipers. Now in the game Imperial Snipers are portrayed by Scout Troopers and so if you have this weapon, and you have the Scout Trooper, put the two together, and what do you have? That's right, an Imperial Sniper, direct from Star Wars Battlefront. So if you're a video game fan, and you absolutely love Battlefront, uh, to recreate one of those characters from that game is just really, really cool. And it makes for a stunning display, as you can see. Really, really cool indeed, and that Scout Trooper just looks awesome with that rifle. So definitely something I'd recommend doing for your displays. And this is definitely a product that I'd recommend adding to your collection as a whole. Really, really stunning piece. And as I said, words just fail to summarise how cool this one is. Definitely go out and get it, guys. It's available now. 
and uh, again if you've pre-ordered this one expect it through your door anytime soon so in the meantime i hope you've enjoyed watching this review on the six inch biker scout and speeder bike and uh, we will be back of course with many more reviews very very soon we've got tons of cool stuff to show you we've got more uh, hasbro figures on the way we've got more lego sets um, some not so cool items as well so uh, you know very very exciting times ahead I've got competitions and giveaways coming up as well which is something we've never attempted before here at Sith Lord 229 so absolutely tons to uh, stay tuned for so uh, if you haven't done so already and this is the first video that you're watching of mine be sure to click subscribe because I've got tons of content coming your way so enough talk thank you for watching this review guys and until my next video as always keep collecting and may the force be with you